Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Adam and welcome back to the channel. We are back with the festival meal and first of all, I just want to say I know the content's been horrendous this year. Um, it's because I was in third year of uni and I've finished now. So um, I'm all done with uni and it gives us a chance to really crack on this summer with some content. And today is the day really where I've kind of said, right, I'm going on holiday next week. So let's get some content done. And today we are going to be talking about the Reading and Leeds lineup and speaking about slow tie. Okay, so we are going to be talking about Slow Tie and Slow Tie's replacement. For those that may not know, Slow Tie, due to some allegations and appearances in court, means he's no longer performing at any festival or doing any gig this year. So we are going to speculate very quickly. It'll probably only be a five minute video or so, and we're just going to chat generically about the lineup, really. And we're going to talk about who could replace Slow Tie. So the one that most people are expecting is AJ Tracy. Um, AJ Tracy stepped in late last year and it just seems to be one of those acts that is sort of a crowd pleaser and um, at that size and the albums he's done he fits normally quite well as a sub on a slot and I must say as a special guest last year to replace Jack Harlow um, he did a decent job. So all this is based off of I'm not looking at tour dates, scheduling and stuff like that we're just going to talk about rumours here and there so AJ seems to be like one of the acts that they could get quite easily and get almost nailed on. The next one I'm going to say is H. H. Um, hasn't released new music since his most recent album in 2022 but again if they got if they managed to pull H off he'd be off the back of his park life set that did really well um, he headlined one of the days and um, from as far as I know he was decent and H as a sub headliner slot I feel like would be a nice booking for Reading and Leeds H hasn't been at Reading since 2021 and that was the year actually the Reading stages audio was really bad so that was the first year they ever did the two main stages he was the first sub headliner i think and um got a lot of slate because he was on the new main stage but yeah it'd be really cool to see h back at reading and leeds and it seems about right the same sort of people who would be into slow tie would also be into h the next act that i think a lot of people would love to see is idols now idols have not been at reading and leeds for i actually should probably fact check that but i'm not entirely sure when they were last at reading um they were meant to be booked for 2020 uh, they were labeled as the sub headline on the radio one stage underneath aj tracy and i think since then their um popularity has just increased 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 and i think idols would be a very sensible booking i feel as though they're due to play reading and leeds um i think sub headliner would be perfect for them and i think people wouldn't wouldn't mind that at all and they they put on a great show and i've never seen idols so it'd be really cool to see them um, but that kind of makes sense as a replacement for slow tie and that's one that a lot of you guys on the comments said that you wanted. Sticking to that similar theme of another act that a lot of you wanted is Cortina's. Cortina's definitely haven't been at Reading since around 2018, 2019 um, and again also meant to play 2020 and ever since then we've had no sign of them ever playing Reading and Leeds again. So, Cortina's is another act that would be really cool to see um, coming in. That's uh, I know they're a bit like Marmite. Some people love them, some people hate them. And for me, I really like Cortina's. And I saw them at a gig when I was, I think, 19. And I didn't know that many of their songs. So now going back to seeing them and actually knowing a lot of their songs, it'd be cool to see Cortina's. So that's two options. Another rapper that actually could do Reading and Leeds and hasn't done Reading and Leeds hasn't been since he was put on the 2020 lineup is Hedy One. Now, Hedy One is due to be playing, I think, Wireless this year. Um, is an app booked for there. And he hasn't been at Reading, oh God, probably since he was on well, one extra stage. And he was down as the sub-headliner on that Radio 1 stage. So it wouldn't surprise me if they went for Heady 1. It kind of makes sense. British rapper. Um, I know, for me, I'd be cool to see Heady 1. I haven't seen him before. And I'm a big fan of his music, especially the, um, the Edna album. So, yeah, another option there. And... That depends if they're going to be trying to replace them directly with another rapper. Um, I know Slow Tie isn't a conventional rapper, but he is, if you know what I mean. A couple of people say on the on the comments, um, Kasabian, they should label them as a special guest and get Kasabian. But I do think if Kasabian did Reading and Leeds, they'd probably be a headliner. Someone said Skepta, same with him. I think with six headliners, you'd probably need someone that size a headliner. Youngblood isn't a bad shout. There's a couple of people in the comments that said Youngblood. Um, he hasn't been at Reading and Leeds since 2021. Again, also, I think he has a very big cult following, but whether he's, like, a popular act, I'm not entirely sure, in terms of, like, in general. I like him. Um, Blossoms is another one. Uh, we haven't seen Blossoms at Reading since 21, so that could be quite cool to see them back. 
Um, it really depends whether they're going to do the whole try and match the genre, match the genre of slow tie, or whether they're going to completely change it and do a, you know, do a 975 Rage Against the Machine switch again. Um, someone said the Kooks. So any of these sort of bands that do the circuits that we haven't seen at Reading and Leeds for a few years, the Wombats, another one, um, could also make sense. So look out for those. One good point. Idols have said that their only UK show this year is Jamie T. I know some things like this can change that, but um, it would make sense. Their only sub-headline is uh, Jamie T, which was um, at Finsbury Park. Jamie T is another one. Jamie T is another one. Out of nowhere. I still feel like it might do a secret set, but Jamie T is another one that could do Reading and Leeds. So, yeah, let me know who you think is going to replace Slow Tire. One thing I was going to mention um, at the back end of this video is the Lewis Capaldi stuff. Obviously, he's not returning to music until well, it's next weekend um, when I'm recording this for Glastonbury. So we'll have to see if he does his set. Um, I know he struggles with his mental health issues, so hopefully all is well with him. But in terms of him headlining and due to be headlining Reading, let's just see. He might do Glastonbury completely fine and then he's going to do Reading completely fine. But there are rumours and murmurs that he might not do Reading. So if he does drop out, expect a lot of coverage, a lot of breaking coverage. One of my favourite parts of this channel last year was reacting to news and strike them in the iron's hot and um, i really enjoyed that and liked having the conversation and the comments with you guys about who will replace them so this is another one of them who's going to replace slow tie let us know in the comments below it's great to be back i'm about to record another video back to back um just to get some content out there so it's good to be back we're gonna be back let us know what content you want let us know what other festivals you want we're going to be doing the classics this year of course we are the essentials um the app's out as well, so it might be cool to go through who we're going to see, but I do like doing that a bit nearer the festival. But yeah, it's good to be back. i finished uni now, so hopefully we can ramp, ramp up some content before I start a full-time job. And then I'm hoping that even though it's a full-time job, um, I'm going to be able to also do content and make content for you guys, um, you know, sort of on the weekend and that sort of thing. So yeah, make sure you write down in the comments down below not only who you want to replace Slow Tie, but also what content you want to see, because we're back on the grind, baby. I shall see you all in the next one. Take care, guys.